welcome to Better, a Tsang & Associates original podcast. I'm your host, Jane Park, and together we explore practical strategies for living a more mindful and fulfilling life. Today, we're talking about how to deal with grief. Obviously, this is a tough topic, and there's a lot of ways that we all try to navigate our ways through grief in our lives. There will often be a funeral or a memorial service or a celebration of life initially for people to come together and remember that person, offer support, laugh, cry. And often in that time, there's, you know, an opportunity to share stories, share memories in community, and that can really help to process the loss and also keep the memories of that loved one alive. If you're spiritual or religious, then you can definitely, I I think there's a lot of practices uh, that you can engage in, art and musical therapy, and obviously counseling if you're having a a hard time, or it's probably just good in general. But grief is hard. I feel like no matter which way you come at it, like it's not going to be easy. Also, it can be super overwhelming and surprising and longer lasting than expected and can really like disrupt your daily life enough and also lead to, you know, more prolonged sadness or depression. And obviously like it can, that, that whole process can have an impact socially. It can have a huge impact mentally. Maybe you might even see a decline in your physical health because you're not just able to take care of yourself and, and, you know, kind of re rejoin everybody else in a timely manner. So grief, I feel like even if you're doing all the right things, it can be really hard. There has got to be a better way. (laughs) I think this sort of paralyzing grief is really due to one of three factors. Regret, resentment, or recognition. And by recognition, it could be a lack of recognition or wishing to have recognized in the past. And that just means like regret, like, oh, I regret that I did that or I didn't do that. Resentment, obviously anything you haven't talked through and anything that was still bothering you and recognition like, oh, I wish I had seen that. And so instead of just trying to deal with grief in the moment the best we can, maybe the better way to live now is to think, is there anything that I have regrets about that I have any resentment towards or recognition I crave? And if there is, to deal with it now. If we can get these things off our chest now, then when tragedy is going to come, because it will, right, to all of us, maybe there won't be as much grief. Like, there will certainly be a degree of mourning and sadness, but then also a sense of joy that you did have, the, you did your best to make the relationship what it was, you know. All to say, <laughs> a lot of times grief does teach us something valuable. And once we can learn it and apply it, we're able to find hope again and meaning in suffering. Obviously, it's a lot easier in hindsight or when you're not actually going through it, but I think if we can prepare just a little bit, it will make that the grief that is going to be a part of all of our lives a little bit easier to bear. Did you enjoy today's topic? We aren't the ultimate experts, but we do love sharing our personal journeys, what we've been learning along the way, and in bite-sized portions too that fit easily in our busy days. If you'd like to study today's topic in more detail, we do have a YouTube series as well as in-depth Medium articles from Sang & Associates. Your feedback helps us reach more listeners like you. See you later!